And so it begins. This is day one. We're back from COVID. Still dealing with COVID though, but we're back here at the gas station this morning, gassing up. On my way to Big Toho Marina for heavy hitters event. I'm group B this week, so we start today and they caught some big fish yesterday group a caught some big ones and so i'm just hopeful that we can do the same today it's supposed to be 90 something degrees super hot today i'm ready though ice chest up loaded with ice loaded with drinks can't never be too hydrated out here especially when in florida smokes down here anyways we're gonna give them everything we got man we're gonna run around we're gonna try a bunch of different things man hopefully it pans out man it's been relatively tough even though this is supposed to be like the primo time of the year to be down here. I don't know. We're going to give him everything we got, though. I know that. Got a little Kendrick going this morning to get us going, right? All right, picking up my boat official. This is a cool story right here. So, me and this guy, y'all might recognize him from my last tournament vlog. That was my official for the very last day on Lake Athens. The last day I competed in Major League Fishing. So, here we are back together again. Hopefully we can have another day like we did then and find us some old bigs. Cause we caught a couple bigs that day. We didn't pull off the win, old Ot got us, but we had a good time. Pulled up to our first spot. We're actually here on Lake Toho. There's quite a few guys in the area. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's five boats, six that I can see. You know, they're not all terribly too close. Looks like that's uh, Takahiro right there and Bobby Lane over there. And we'll all just kind of work this area. I mean, it's a very popular spot, community hole, basically. We're going to see if we can become part of the community. Oh my God. Yeah, baby. Oh, God. I got it. Oh, man. Woo. She choked. She was not coming off. Yeah, baby. Four pounds, six ounces. Four, six ounces, baby. Keep your head in the game. What I'm talking about. Went down there and got her, baby. Y'all saw that. Oh. Those are the ones right there. All right, guys, so tough period. I had two bites. One was a non-scorpel caught on a wake bait too. And I thought that thing would be, the way it crashed it, I thought it was gonna be a big one, but kept our head down, kept riding. Caught a four six, really good fish. Uh, shook off some really good bites, flipping reeds, toolies we call them in California in practice. And so if I could just get five or six, seven bites doing that, I mean, they really stand a chance of being some big fish. I think that's one of the things these bigger bass are really holding on right now are those down here in Florida. I think they call them pencil pencil reeds or, you know, whatever. Tulies. You can catch some big ones flipping. So I'm throwing a three-quarter ounce weight. And down here in Florida, 
for whatever reason that fast fall really triggers them to biting and then that's exactly what happened just then so hopefully we can just uh trigger a few more Not sure, but I definitely get out here. Oh, this, this is awesome. Right here. Main lake in the back. I mean, access to deep water. Nothing more they could ask for, in my opinion. Got a little breeze on it. Oh, no. ah, that was not good. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, MG. No. You get right there. Yes, baby! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god! Yes, baby! Oh my bro! Ooh, baby! Oh. oh listen, that jungle owner flipping hook all up in his brains was never getting off. Boy, that is a certified younder! Oh my god! You ready? Yes, sir. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. Yes, sir. That's all that tank is. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at that tank. Oh man. All right, we just wrapped up day one. Back in the boat yard, just parked. Got my dog over here. The, the Bass Whisperer, Jay Wills. Man, what a tough day today was i just took my jersey off i'm i'm white teeing it right now but man today was unbelievable on toughness let me tell y'all we sitting in 16th we got to regroup got to make something happen on wednesday definitely got to make something happen on wednesday and i had some more bites in here in practice and it just never came together but a 715 got my attention as you can imagine All right, guys, camera died. I apologize, but I just caught her. What was it? Two pound 11 ounce. Two 11. There she goes right there. Put her back in the drink. We'll put her back up here so you can see. As we got one minute till lines back in, wrapped up period one, sitting in 16th place, which is right where I started. They're catching them better today. So obviously we need to catch them better. So. It's still been tough. I've had three keeper bites today. I've actually had, I think, uh, five or six, no, six bites today. So that's uh, four more than I got all day the first day. So here we go. We're going to keep putting the pressure on. Hopefully we can keep catching them. 15 seconds. Okay. 
Get him, baby. Three pounds, three ounces. Yes. Three, three. Can I pick you up, too? Sure. Not that, right where he's supposed to be on a perfect little point. Ready? My chest, he ain't running, but you got me back there, baby. Three, three. In the game still. All right, guys. We made a little bit of ground. Been grinding the whole time. Whoo, man, can't give up, man, can't give up. We got one more period. We got to keep grinding our absolute hardest trying to make this cut. Um, it then got really, really tough, and uh, the bite is just very slow. So I've been picking picking up this Dobbin, his weight, an ounce and a half, Wu Tungsten, never chip, just pitching in these Hyacinth mats, and I'm trying to target the little specific points in the uh, what we call uh like a transition area right any kind of little subtle change in the mat those are the areas i'm targeting and um you guys saw me go in and get that last one here's a cool tip whenever i'm flipping highest in the mats and really any mats in general i never try to force that fish out of the mat you'll lose them a lot of the time so when they got you bogged up no worries just put that trolling motor on high get in there sometimes you even got to use the engine get in there don't try to force the fish out reach right down catch that bass and that's exactly what i did i've lost countless bass like that so we're gonna regroup retie re-rig put on some more crickets and uh get back after them here shortly That's a freaking good one. Dude, oh gosh. That's so crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Got you, buddy. Yes. Yes, sir. MR6, baby. MR60. That's a solid one. Else. Couldn't tell if I was a bowfin or something. Nope. Three ounder. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Two fifteen. Yes. Thanks, buddy.
Two pound, two ounces. Two, two. Yes. Good morning, six to day to day. Back in the canal again. All right, folks. That's all she wrote. Let me sign my, my card here real quick. Make it official. We pulled it off. Caught seven keepers a day. Finished 13th place. Y'all don't know how stressful that was. That's the beauty of Major League Fishing. Gotta love it. Day three coming soon.